Hey, free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So today we are gonna take a look at some Relic Fusion. So I've actually held back from doing my Relic Fusions forever. I've never actually done, I think maybe more than 10 fusions. I have saved a total of 6,500. And honestly, I could have saved a lot more, probably at about 7,500 right now, but I did miss some of my cute miracle runs, right? Okay, so we're gonna take a look at how I am going to use them because these are going to amount to almost 110 relics, right? So we have to be smart. We have to choose the specific sets that make the most sense because we are able to choose exactly what we want, right? So we are definitely not gonna go for stuff that is easy to obtain. So for example, for Kronos, I am just gonna completely pass it. Um, if you guys need some Windwalker or War Machine, go ahead and do it, it's still fine. But for me, because I can do Kronos any single day, I think it's not so great of an option for me to invest all of these resources into Kronos, right? So what I'm thinking is between a pep and Fafnir. Now, the thing is, I farm a pep like crazy. I probably farm a pep about maybe 6,000 runs by now. It's a lot, right? So I have done a lot of runs and I'm still working on trying to improve my run times, which means that I'm still gonna be grinding at a pep like every single day, maybe like 100 runs every single day. So a pep might not be the sets that I would like to choose, even though, okay, so even though a pep do drop like the, the kind of like the best sets in the game, I might actually just go on to pick Fafnir relics. So here's what I have in mind, right? There are a few relics that I think make the most sense, and this is gonna cater more towards like end game players, so to speak. Uh, so here are some of them that I like a lot. So the first is going to be the Hammer of Thor because that gives you 40% crit damage. Now, 40% crit damage, the next best option is going to be War Machine with only 30% attack. So this actually gives you a lot more stats for the same investment required. So this is, in most cases, going to be more optimal than War Machine, right? So this is probably a good step ahead for me in terms of progression. And next on the line is going to be uh, the Tyranny of Zeus. So I've talked about this a lot. It's really good for a lot of different aspects who hit a lot of times, right? So for example, there is Liling, for example, there is Yangman, Tricky, and of course a few others, right? As long as they hit multiple times, this is gonna be great. So damage dealt has a 20% chance of stunning the target for one turn. This is very big for PvP, right? Okay, so like for example, Lucas as well, if he strips on his third skill, he can also land stuns at the same time. That's really broken, right? Now the next set that I think can be a little bit interesting in my opinion is going to be the Snow Dowager Relic set. So this one is more for players who have uh, Laura and Sally. I think this really works very well for them or Renzi as well, I think that's also quite viable. So what this does is it grants a 20% chance of freezing the target for one turn when taking damage. Now obviously this is going to be more of a PvP relic. Um, you're, not, you're probably not going to use it in PvE all that much, you're not going to want to tank so much in PvE, especially not in Ritual Miracles, it doesn't make sense at all, right? So this one is strictly more for PvP content, so I might not be so interested in getting it. And then finally, the fourth set that I think makes the most sense for me is going to be the Light Above Relic. So this gives your Esper a one-turn immunity when you start the fight. So this is exceptionally important in PvP. But at the same time, I feel like at the end game, a lot of players are starting to run Lucas, a lot of people are starting to run Tricky. So naturally, the Light Above is not always going to be so effective. They're just going to strip it eventually, right? So if they're going to strip it, this does not work. I am only down to three different sets. Um, Just basically the Hammer of Thor, Tyranny of Zeus and Snow Dowager but frankly I might not want to get Snow Dowager because I do not have all the Aspers that need it a lot right so I do not have Sally I do not have Laura and my Renzi is not built but I might want to build him with Hades instead so I'm only down to both Zeus and Hammer of Thor. So I think what I'm gonna do is to just invest everything into the Hammer of Thor and see what we get. Hopefully we get some really sick relic pieces, right? So for example, slot two, what I'm looking for is crit damage and slot four, what I'm looking for is either defense percentage or attack percentage, most preferably attack percentage. And of course, I'm looking for a lot of crit rate subs, a lot of crit damage subs, a lot of attack percentage subs and a lot of speed as well. Now, I do not necessarily need crit rate if I'm gonna give the relics to Lin Xiao because Lin Xiao does not need crit rate. Whew, but without further ado, let us begin all right so we can only do it in multiples of 10 so we're gonna have to do this quite a few times let's see how this works all right oh we didn't even get a single first piece over here so what do we have here this is crap what do we have here this is crap 
What do we have here? This is crap. <laughs> flat attack. Oh, flat defense. Okay, wait. Oh, oh, we got a good one here. Okay, so this is pretty decent, right? Crit rate, crit damage. This is potentially quite useful for Espers like Drew. This is not bad if I want to build a Renzi without like Hades, right? I think he works really well with Thor as well. This is trash. Oh, wow, this is not bad. Um, Okay, so this has attack percentage and crit damage percentage. We can try upgrading this and hopefully we get crit rate from it. If we do get crit rate, this will be powerful. Okay, either crit rate or speed. If this goes into speed, this is going to be perfect for Lin Xiao. Absolute garbage. Now, although this gives me defense percentage, I don't really feel like the substats are all that good. I really like the crit rate, I really like the HP bonus, but apart from that, I don't really fancy like resist and defense. Okay, now on to the next 10 pieces, right? Let's fuse it. What do we get? Okay, okay, this is a flawless. It has speed and HP, but it doesn't have anything that is offensive. So now, when you're talking about Hammer of Thor, what you're really interested in is offensive subs and offensive mains. And obviously, if we do get elite relics, I'm probably gonna sell it because I do not want to have like elite relics. I need superior and above. This is crap. This might potentially be good for Lin Cell. And this is flat. This is bad. This could potentially be quite good for Lin Cell if it all falls into crit damage and attack percentage. And this is crap. And this is crap. And this is crap. Now next, let's move on. So I think currently we have like maybe about two or three really good pieces. Uh, well, we do have a flaws over here. Defense percentage with nothing good. This is not good. This is also not good. This is not good. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. This is pretty decent. Nice. We do have something that's pretty good here. This is bad. Accuracy, HP flat, HP flat, and defense flat. So pretty excited that we actually got one good thing from this 10 pool over here. Let's carry on. Okay, we got one flawless. This is bad. This is very bad. This is very bad. Very bad. Very bad. Another Lin Xiao relic. So I am starting to see like we have a lot of crit damage and attack percentage relic sets over here. Although I will still need like accuracy and speed on Lin Xiao. So this may not be optimal. This is bad. Bad, bad, and bad. Now next 10 pool. Bad, 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 trash. Trash. Trash 10 pool. Bad. Bad, 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 bad. Next one. Bad, 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 bad. <laughs> totally trash, trash, crap, garbage. Now next, next, next. Terrible, <laughs> terrible. Really bad, really bad, really bad, really bad. Bad, 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 and bad. Oh my gosh, the rates here are so bad. I am not salty or anything like that. I, I know and I expect that the rates are going to be bad. So... <laughs> So this is not phasing me at all, right? Not good, not good, not good, not good. So many flat pieces, oh my gosh. They're all flat. Wait, what about this? Oh, this is not so good. Oh, I was a little bit excited for a moment, but nah, not good. Okay, down to our final 10 pool over here. Okay, this sucks. <laughs> this sucks. 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 Oh my gosh, this is a slot too. This sucks. This this would have been good if it were a superior, right? I would have kept this. This is not good. This is potentially not so good, but it could be useful for Lin Xiao in a speedy accuracy uh, setup. Not good and trash. So that's like the last tempo that we have. Can we do a little bit of remixing though? I think we can probably try something, right? Oh, fantastic. We have enough to do another 10 pool. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our final 10 pool for the day. <laughs> Hopefully we get something good. We do not have any flawless over here. This is potentially quite useful for Renzi. Sucks, 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 sucks. Unfortunately, it sucks, 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 and sucks. Damn, so we didn't really get a lot of good pools, right? We've probably got about four or five relics that have something worth talking about. So if you do not yet know, this is basically how I get rid of like my relics. So I go ahead to sell and then I click all here and I just filter for everything that has like elite or less number of substats and I just box sell it. So this is these are like basically 590k worth of uh, Hammer of Thor relics. I, you do not have to follow me. This is just how I do it because I want to be more efficient with the relics that I have. So let's go ahead and figure out like what are some of the good relics that we have and what can we work on. I do know that we do not have any slot 2 and slot 4. Okay, we do have one slot 4 that is probably good to look at for Renzi. But apart from that, most of it comes from the first and third slots. Okay, so I quickly filtered all of the relics that I have. It's about 300,000 extra gold. <laughs> But we do have some really good pieces over here. And of course, not all of them came from uh, today's uh, summoning session. Quite a few of them came from me just doing expeditions on Fafnir. But let's take a look at what we have left, right? So we have something like this, which is more for Renzi. This is more for a speedy Lin Xiao, so to speak. 
This is more for speedy Lin Xiao as well, in case like the first one went awry. And this is definitely more for Lin Xiao as well. This is good for any Esper who needs a bit of crit rate and crit damage. Same goes for this one. And this is definitely more for Renzi. And this could be good if he goes into crit rate. So a lot of these guys, you know, all of these relics over here, I, I might need to upgrade them to probably unlock like speed, probably unlock crit rate and all that. So I'm actually giving some of them chances, right? But you know, all these flawless, I think they still have quite a bit of value. So yeah, that's about it for today's session. So that has been 110 relic fusions wow the rewards are not very good but at least you know we still have at least a handful of relics i was expecting like maybe at most five good relics but it seems like we got a little bit more than just five i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade them a little bit to test them out where their potential can be but hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to leave a thumbs up it really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content now this has been dairy free to play and as always i will see you in the next video